Imagine that we could really have a time machine that would show us what happened in the early universe, a machine that would become more powerful and give us progressively clearer pictures even as it aged. Imagine that the machine could detect worlds beyond our solar system, help map invisible dark matter and characterize the expansion of the universe. It may come as a surprise, but this time machine does exist and is silently floating above us. Familiar enough to many to be taken for granted, the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope celebrates two astonishing decades in orbit on the 24th of April. This is the Hubblecast, news and images from the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope. Travelling through time and space with our host, Dr. J, a.k.a. Dr. Joe Liska. Wow, this thing travels over 28,000 kilometers per hour. 930,000 observations. 570,000 images of 30,000 celestial objects. 20 years, two decades and 110,000 trips around our planet. Dr. J, 30 seconds to show time. Okay. After two decades of service to the scientific community and the public worldwide, tonight we are recognizing the achievements of what is arguably the most renowned and beloved space observatory in history. Welcome to the show. Now maybe you know it for its awe-inspiring images, or maybe you know it for its fundamental scientific discoveries, but chances are you do know it. Tonight we honor the Hubble Space Telescope with the Cosmic Lifetime Achievement Award. It is not just about pretty pictures. Even though Hubble is famous for some of the most intriguing and coincidentally artistic images in the universe, astronomers, professional and amateur alike, have been translating the magnificent colors and poetic swirls of these images into hard-edged science. 20 years of observations have produced more than 45 terabytes of data, enough information to fill nearly 5,800 DVDs. Each month, the orbiting observatory generates more than 360 gigabytes of data, which could fill the storage space of an average home computer. It is a real honor to be able to celebrate my dear friend Hubble. Tonight, we pay tribute to your venerable achievements and we look forward to the work that lies ahead of you. We will look at some of your most outstanding accomplishments and your most loved images from the past 20 years. One of your most recent achievements takes us back to the early days of the universe. Scientists and space enthusiasts worldwide were wowed by the deepest pictures of our universe captured by Hubble. The first Hubble Deep Field was taken in 1995 and opened a whole new field of research. Hubble has since repeated the success and the latest Hubble Ultra Deep Field image lets us see back in time 13 billion years, just 600 million to 800 million years after the Big Bang. This was one of the first and most spectacular datasets taken with Hubble's brand new Wide Field Camera 3. By studying galaxies at different epochs, astronomers can see how galaxies change over time. A staple of science fiction films for decades, Black holes are among the universe's most elusive and intriguing enigmas. Their existence was confirmed by Hubble in 1994, when Hubble's high resolution made it possible to see the effects of a black hole's gravitational attraction on its surroundings. Hubble has also proved that black holes are most likely present at the centers of all galaxies. 
After this discovery, the orbiting observatory then began further examination of the relationship between supermassive black holes and their home galaxies, and found that a galaxy's bulge and the mass of its black hole are closely interconnected. Hubble could also be honored with a Congeniality Award for getting to know our neighbors in the solar system. Hubble has imaged most of the planets and has the advantage of being able to carry out long-term studies from its vantage point 600 kilometers above the Earth. Have you ever been lucky enough to see the enchanting northern or southern lights? Well, Hubble has captured the alluring aurora that light up the poles of the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. And it has caught glimpses of comet impacts on Jupiter. Aside from the planets, Hubble has also studied asteroids, like the 500 km sized Vesta. The resulting map of its surface shows a strange world with a gigantic impact crater and possibly even ancient lava flows. But what is happening beyond our immediate cosmic neighborhood? This is a topic that fascinates many of us, and Hubble has not only helped to detect worlds outside the confines of the solar system, but it can also help to characterize them. In November 2001, Hubble made the first direct detection of the atmosphere of a planet orbiting another star. In this case, it was the Sun-like star HD 209458, located about 150 light-years away in the constellation of Pegasus. Knowing the makeup of a planet 